So the storytelling series continues, and we are working on a fugue, the second movement of Bach G minor sonata. And it starts with this woman walking out of the sanctuary where she found real healing and deep love that when she pour out her heart and really be honest with her feelings, there was a big comfort and healing that she experienced. And she comes out from that grief and start walking in the world by herself. And then people join and she experiences, she experiences some conflicts, disagreements, pain, hurt, disappointment in this community that she hoped to gain some more love like she gained from this God when she prayed and she, when she was being honest. So it starts with just single walk. It's like this step-like motive that keeps coming back is the, it's representing a step. keep joining some pain at the end with this big chords pom 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 da, da, da. and then it's just line just keeps coming down with that disappointment and discouraged and she's now by herself again she's just depressed she's lonely and she's hurt so she's just hiding somewhere and then now, different scene opens up in this story. The spirit is walking, and this kind, it's like the voice from above, angelic sound. And then they're introducing this community. We are made to be in community because they are also in community. And how they work together, how they harmonize together in one vision to really love the humanity. The reason why he created this world, the universe, is to really love us and really fellowship with us, really talk with us and really teaching us about the love that he, like he is love. So in that community, how they relate to each other, how they walk together in love, it's even if, even though they have different kind of colors and characters, they harm, harmonize together in different way. Smoother. So lifting each other up. And then in this, like it was kind of playful, they were playing with different rhythms. So in this step like motive, it's just one measure, but it has this pom 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 pom, this same note four times. And then we have this rhythm. Right? So they're playing with this rhythm. So See, there are two different kind of rhythm. And then in the bottom, 
and they're like harmonizing together. And then now they're walking. See this? This is always challenging for me to play cleanly because I can't touch any string with this complicated uh, finger position. So, and then the voice is in the bottom. And then now D is holding them together. So this is, I feel like the D in this movement is representing love, representing the truth that is really holding people together in a beautiful way. with this D. So it feels like it's very, it has power and strength in their walk with this centered, grounded source of love that is holding them together. And then now um, the spirit is coming down to this disappointed woman who is heartbroken again, like who had hoped to really work it out and experience that same love in the community that she was trying to live together. And then she's walking again. And this time, every beginning of each chapter, the first chapter started with this one voice. And then second chapter started with this one voice. Now, third chapter starts with this D, but it's not single voice this time. It sounds like single voice, and then one voice is joining, and that is the spirit. So if it's a single voice, it's going to sound like... which sounds a little bit dark and lonely, but when the spirit joins... So the top voice, if you listen to it, it sounds which is lifting her up. So it sounds more like, hey, get up. You are loved. I'm here. One more time of lifting her up and then this top voice it feels like this woman is still doubting still telling him how could the love happen in the community this thing happened. I'm so hurt. I'm so disappointed. So she's just venting out again. In doubt. And then now, this is more a hopeful message from the spirit because um, when they were showing us their walk, there is A. And this time, it's on the top voice. Showing us some hope. And then she's still pleading to him. So from here, we see some melodic. It's the step kind of stops. And then from here, the voice is singing. It feels like the chord is supporting her and listening to her, and she's still pleading to him. 
it feels like sorrow. See, pain. So there are combination of pain, relief, pain, resolve, pain, question, pain, and doubt. So it's this chromatic melody kind of makes the sound sadder, right? Still, what do you feel? Pleading. So this happens two times. So when the melody repeats, and it's also, it's not, right? Something doubtful and questioning and not really believing, right? So like, first time it was speaking from her heart, just came out. Then second time, why? Really, something like that, just really compelling sound. So, so. And then now really, pleading in this voice and then still it's not resolved not knowing and then now spirit is holding her in his gentle arm and talking to her gently with kindness and love and showing her his love that is centering her. So, so you hear one or two notes that are not moving and just one voice or two voices that are moving and they're like making harmony. Now the spirit and these people are in this centering love together trying to work it out together. these people together, um, when spirit is coming to like really teaching us, teach us how to live together, how to communicate together in this loving language. They're like all connected together, even in different voices, but there is always centered note that is 
holding them together in love. And then when they become D is just pedal tone, it's like grounding them together and telling them to rise up. So see this D was just getting stronger and stronger as these two voices are rising up together. And then it ends with this D chord. So from here, it's like grounding source that is holding them together and really supporting them in this walk together. So this D, but here, it always ends with some doubt. And then, this G minor chord, the tonic chord, it's the grounding source. <laughs> Still doubtful. And then C minor chord, C minor chord always, for me, it kind of represents human-like voice, human-like color. She's still doubtful. And then we can go down in discouragement. Kind of despair. But from here, See how it's like repeating twice. It's like responsive communication. Now they are responding to each other, really listening to each other, acknowledging each other, and really walking together in harmony. So maybe imitating each other. chord has different kind of color. This I feel like it's a hopeful message. Maybe there's a hope. And then it doesn't end. From here, they're walking together strongly. This is the end of the third chapter. Oh, today is very hot. <laughs> I'm sweaty. So, the message that I want to carry from this chapter is that when we are discouraged from our community, from our own community, that we really wanted to be loved, where we really hope to get some support. When we are holding on to the truth and the love that really speaks to you and holding you and telling you that you are worthy you are created to be loved and to love. And when you hold on to that truth and soak yourself into that love, the unconditional love, you can rise up. And spirit is always lifting you up. The voice that when, when you hear and when the voice is really expanding you, when the voice is really allowing you to love, to create, 
to digest and to rise up, that's the voice of the spirit that is already in you. And when you're holding on to that, you will rise up and you will learn how to, lo how to love, you will learn how to love others, and you will learn how to love yourself. And that is the source that we want to hold on to when we are walk, when we are walking in any situation, in darkness, in, in the valley, maybe in top of the mountain, but all the time there's something that we want to hold on to that is not changing. And that usually it's something that we cannot see, but we can only feel. And I feel like that source of unshakable, unshakable source that really makes us strong and shine is the love and the truth. So if no one ever told you today this message, I want to acknowledge and letting you, I want to let you know that you are created wonderfully, fearfully, and you have this gift, the unique gift from your creator that you are supposed to really shine through, have fun, appreciate, and share with others. And the world will be a brighter place because of your gift. So you are loved, you are worthy, and you matter. And when you are holding on to that truth and walk with that voice, that kind, loving voice, you will win, you will gain the victory, you will experience the love, and you'll be able to share the love to the world around you. So the story is continuing. After experiencing this source of love, really grounding them together, this woman is walking in the community again. And this time, it's going to be more powerful. And if you want to just continue this journey with me and just follow this story until the end of the piece, sub subscribe to my channel so you can be updated, up, you can be notified when I post the next video. So please tune in and I will see you in the next chapter.